Iran, which I think is going to be presented by Nikolai. Please. Okay, hello. Um, so I'm going to present something a little bit, a little bit different. Um, so keep an open mind. <laughs> Um, so this is the first report of foot and mouth disease virus uh, um, uh, serotype O from uh, puppies in Iran. So I'm presenting this, or I should say I'm presenting this on behalf of um, Dr. Uh, Abdullahi, who unfortunately couldn't be here uh, today. So a bit of background. So uh, foot and mouth disease is endemic in Iran, um, and generally what they find there is serotype A, um, A around 05, and the, the, the A um, uh, genotype 7, also, Pan-Asia 2, Asia 1, um, th these are the most common things that they see. And uh, typically, it's in cattle, sheep, and goats, and rarely um, seen in wildlife. In 2015, in October, there was um, a big increase in the number of outbreaks that they saw in Iran. Um, it was mainly in unvaccinated farms, but even farms that were regularly vaccinating also had uh, disease. And this was, this was mostly seen in, in cattle, and this was the genotype 7 outbreak. Um, and, they've, and Iran have produced a, um, uh, a monovalent vaccine in response to this, which is, um, which is being used. Um, but that's kind of a side issue, um, because uh, from February 2016, uh, there was another big increase in the uh, instance of, um, of disease at the sort of epi unit level. And there was a high sort of uh, mortality of, uh, among lambs, and they found serotype O uh, to be the um, responsible um, or isolated from, from, from these hearts. But then there's something a bit strange happened. So in, in the western part of Iran, um, a, they, a dead dog was found, in, uh, or a puppy, a young dog, was, was found in, in Kurdistan province, and the, uh, a dead, but they didn't do a post-mortem or anything. They just heard a report that there was a dead dog associated with an outbreak, and you know they put it down to one of these things. But then it kind of happened again. So in a different part of Iran, in the central part in Esfahan, um, there was a, a two dead puppies, and, and these were made uh, submitted to the um, uh, the, CB, the CB, uh, CBL, the central laboratory, and they saw myocarditis present uh, on gross pathology. Yeah, so that, and they also saw this in lambs from the same farm. And what had happened on this farm, I, 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 sorry, I should have said in, in, that these, these puppies had been feeding on lambs that had died on the farm uh, from foot and mouth disease. So, yeah, so they found serotype O. And you can see this is one of the hearts. It's, it's a difficult picture because it's a bit shiny, but um, you, you, there are some sort of mild striations that you can see on the heart. Uh, but, you know, it's, it's, it's a little bit difficult to tell. Um, but samples have been submitted to the WRL, so we're, co we collaborate, we're collaborating with the uh, Iranian veterinary organization on this. And we also confirmed that serotype O was present at the WRL, um, and, it, and in the puppy and in the lamb samples. And this was a Pan-Asia II uh, lineage. The, the investigation is ongoing uh, in various ways. We've, there, I have, we've done, uh, obviously we've done the, the VP1 sequencing to, have, to know the lineage, but we, we've done more sequencing and there are, we've only done, we've, I think we've done whole genome sequencing on one lamb and one puppy and they were different, but, you know, because I mean the, the big question here is, well, is this contamination? Is this a genuine um, effect? Is this, these, did these dogs really die of, of foot and mouth disease? And we, we don't know for sure yet, but I think the, the CT value was quite low, so there was quite high titers of virus in, in, in the dog heart, uh, which is a bit suggestive that it's not a contaminant, and, um, and we were able to sequence it as well. Uh, um, we, we're currently doing more work with this, so we're going to be doing some confocal microscopy, which I'm not quite sure what that is, but it sounds very, uh, very impressive. And, uh, but apparently this is going to tell us, is there actually virus present in the myocytes, in, in the cells of the heart. And that's, you know, if we see that, then obviously this is, this is very, very good evidence that this is a field, these are field cases of uh, foot and mouth disease in, in puppies. Experimentally, many, many, many years ago, when experiments were allowed, allowed like this, they did infect dogs with um, foot, foot and mouth disease virus, 
and I think there was some gross pathology seen. So this isn't, this isn't something that's completely out of left field, but, it's, but I think this is probably the first sort of reported cases. And I'll just make one more point, um, and that's that obviously this raises some interesting questions as to how you manage the presence of dogs on FMD-infected farms. And that's it. Okay, thank you very much. I think it was uh, an interesting session and the conclusion with an additional risk that you have presented is bringing more and more uh, elements, I think, for discussion and thinking. Uh, thank you very much. Uh, uh, we will try to reconvene uh, at uh, 4 o'clock.